How is it going everyone? Welcome to episode 2 of our Subnautica Below Zero Adventure. In the last episode, we crash landed here on this planet. We're playing as Robin, we're trying to find our sister, and we also got to meet some of our new neighbors, the Penglings over there, and they totally kicked my butt, they took my lunch money, I learned my lesson. And check it out, it is freezing cold everyone. It is freezing cold here on Planet 4546V, and I am thrilled to be here playing some more Below Zero today. So thank you so much, everyone, for being here. We actually just finished premiering the first episode on the channel, and that was so much fun. A massive shout out to everyone that hung out during that. I'm actually seeing, it said we could scan something here. Oh, we've got the Twisted Mandrake. Let's go ahead and scan up. Cool. Super short one. The twisted mandrake grows in temperate coral zones. Its leafy canopy photosynthesizes sunlight while providing shade to the bulbous structure underneath. Very nice. Cool. Look at that. We got our scanner in the last episode. We have an air bladder. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, we launched. Is it just me or are we launching way further up? I gotta try that again. Let's try that again. Look. Like, we're so out of the water. The air bladder is even better in this game. And this was already my favorite item. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to try to land on this platform right here. No, no, I messed it up. Let's try that again. Ready? Come on, air bladder. That's it. <laughs> we actually took falling damage. Let the record show we haven't died yet. We haven't died yet in below zero. So that's going to be my mission today. And this weather, I love the weather effects in this game. We've got so much to do, everyone. Let's go ahead and scan our peeper friend here. It's actually not just a regular peeper. <laughs> this is an Arctic peeper. Let's go. Is this going to be the secret hero of Subnautica? Wow, look how cool it looks. I love the peepers in the first game. They are just so awesome. So the Arctic peeper is a fast prey fish camouflaged against the ice. Like the common peeper, it is fast and relatively intelligent, allowing it to survive in large numbers. So the researcher notes, don't like the auto-generated name, suggest ice cloths. <laughs> yes. Yo, what's better, Arctic Peeper or Ice Clops? If you're saying Ice Clops, you're speaking my language. Speaking of which, we actually came up with a name for our PDA during the premiere of the first episode. Intake, I asked the community, the legends hanging out, what should we name our PDA? And here on schedule, say hello everyone to Frosty. We are naming our PDA in this playthrough Frosty, which is so perfect because the PDA in my first Subnautica playthrough I named Sunny. So Frosty is like so perfect. That is, yeah, I can't believe that worked out so perfectly, honestly. And this is below zero. It's freezing cold. I mean, it's, and it's the polar opposite of Sunny. I love it. Okay. So we're actually crazy hungry right now. And we do have a knife. Okay. Okay. Well, so far, all we've been eating are boomerangs <laughs> i might just catch them i can't remember if it's better to uh oh no i'm not doing that heck no no i'm just used to the thermal blade right we'll grab a couple i guess heck man we're gonna have to go for these peepers discovered. yeah we already we already know that though right i guess we just haven't caught one of them before i am not eating any of the fish right off the bat you know what i mean we got to cook all of these but look how cool it is. This is a different design. It's our first time holding on to one of these. This is the same one, right? Yeah. The peepers are so fast. Also, we've got, uh, I forget. Oh, it's the, is it the hoop fish? <laughs> Let's go ahead and scan this hoop fish. I really want to go see, I really want to go see the, uh, the creature that was by the creep vine, whatever the heck that was. And with that, we'll do a quick, Quick cooking. I'm also, I would love to see what is the source behind that like creepy roar in the background that we've been hearing so much. 
Oh, it pains me to do this. It really does. I am sorry to be cooking a peeper right now. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. But we have to. We've got to eat. <laughs> this is survival. I need to find some of my favorite Vital plants. Stabilizing. Some of my favorite plants from the first one. We still have this creature egg, which I guess we can just leave in here. We don't need it. Also, with the nutrient block, I want to go back to our starting base. Or like the where we crash landed because while I was editing that first video I noticed there are so many more resources back there that I didn't get the chance to pick up or I totally like missed And also I want to scan that awesome plant that was heating us up and keeping us warm So we've got a lot to do there are a lot of things we have to do in today's episode And again, thank you for joining me on this below zero adventure Y'all are the absolute best. I kid you not so the first thing I want to do is I got to go check out this creature. I need to see. <laughs> I'm going to be grabbing some bladder fish on the way. I want to go towards the creep vine and see what was this. There's this creature that's like a stalker that is kind of roaming the creep vine zone. That's why I think it's like a stalker, right? Because the stalker is always around the creep vine. We'll also pick up some resources. We've got so much work cut out for us. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the roar, is this? Oh, we're getting immersed. We are getting immersed, everyone. I swear I'm hearing something. You know, it's really crazy playing. Is Warning. this a cave? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We're good, Frosty. There's a hole underneath. Oh, there's a whole thing over here. Okay. Let's go get our oxygen back. Oh, ow! Just like bump my head on this thing and we're knocked out. <laughs> oh god! Dude, there it is! That's the thing! There are two of them! They're like mermaids! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, oh! Get, get the scanner! <laughs> it's the sea monkey, ladies and gentlemen! 33! I am outnumbered here. I gotta get a good look. Oh, they're so cool! Are they like... <laughs> What are they doing? They're like, hey, come here, come here. That is awesome. Look at this. Oh, you're so cute. Do you like bladderfish? Aw, dude. He didn't want to attack us. Do he seriously just want to hug? Hold up. Hold up. Come here, buddy. Yo, the sea monkey. That was so awesome. Why did he attack me, though? What is this thing? What the heck? Yo, this is what I love. I'm like, I love the alien life. What? <laughs> hey, was he attacking those? It's called a brine wing here. <laughs> Yo, this thing's fast though. Let's go everyone, we're finding new life. It is the brine wing. It has like a weird air attack or something like that. I'm going to go back up. I wonder if it was like the noise I made that really disturbed the sea monkey. I wish I gave it a high five. Is it actually possible to give that thing a high five? You know what it reminded me of a little bit? When he was swimming up to us and it had like it's, the top of his head was going crazy. It reminded me of that thing from Jurassic Park 1 <laughs> that totally rocked that one guy. Yeah, maybe you know what I'm talking about. It reminded me of that dinosaur. But uh, it turns out these might be friendly-ish. You know who isn't friendly? My neighbors way off in the distance right now. They want nothing to do with me. Now we're on okay terms. I brought them some food in the last episode. Okay. All right, well, let's read up on the sea monkey. I, I have to see what their deal is. We need to learn a little bit, like maybe, like, is this just the lightning? There's a massive storm going on, yeah. I want to go see that area over there. Like, I wonder how much... Like, what the heck? Can we go on top of this thing? I want to dive off that. <laughs> so if we read up on the sea monkey, maybe we'll learn why it attacked us. Because we learned why the, the penglings attacked us. Okay, since we're in here and we're safe, let's actually go ahead and make this one bladder fish real quick into, uh, into some water. Get a little bit more of that H2O. That's all we've got. That's all she wrote. You can put that away. Let's drink up. Now, we've got a couple things to read up on. Uh, we've got the hoop fish, right? So the hoop fish, 
And I was asking if um, these are different and some people were telling me it's different than the first game, the daddy here, other, yeah, that's kind of all what I heard. So if it's different, I want to read the all the alien creature stuff. You know what I mean? It's so fun. If I think it's interesting. So the hoop fish, this is small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion and a distant relative of the bladder fish. And you all know the bladder fish is the goat. I love the bladder fish, right? Rather than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antennae, which encircle its body to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the low density space created. Now, purple green coloration may be a camouflage adaptation for mid range light wavelengths, possibly indicating the hoop fish is more active at dawn and dusk. Here we have the behavior. While schools of hoop fish will form periodically and evade predators in mass, this behavior is more social than it is defensive, and lone hoop fish are often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behavior. And it's edible, rock and roll. Okay, so this is a herbivore. The sea monkey, it doesn't want to eat us, but it did hurt us. Okay, very interesting. I mean, it's so cool, right? <laughs> sea monkey! What is going to be our favorite creature when we're done with this game? Will I find something I love more than the reef backs from the first game? So the sea monkey, a medium-sized and intelligent herbivore which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. <laughs> is that why he was going like, hey, give me that? What? So more research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. I wonder if we'll actually unlock more info as the game goes on. So it has uh, two finger-like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation. Its large turquoise crest is made of rigid bone and is possibly used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Interesting. Maybe we'll be able to like observe it, be the first person. We're out here making history. Uh, sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Wow, I wonder if we're ever going to see one of these next to something that maybe isn't so friendly, right? Like a massive predator or something. Seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest. No, for unknown purposes. We're going to find like a little nest of all the goods they've stolen. That's really cool. So investigate with caution, you know, cool. So here we have the brine wing. This one was interesting as well. And yeah, we know it was doing something that it was like shooting out something, right? So a medium sized predator, and this is so crazy. Like this is a carnivore, right? So a medium sized predator known to spit super cold salt water to freeze its prey from afar. We got to see it shoot out that stuff, but I don't think we actually got to see it hit something. A large bladder on the brine wings underside fills with seawater as it swims. Some water is filtered out through an internal membrane, leaving behind a strong saline solution. Two flat, transparent, extendable fins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. The brine wing can then contract its bladder, expelling the super cold brine and freezing the salt water up to several meters away from it. While warm blooded life forms may suffer minor injuries on contact with the brine, it is not cold enough to freeze most vertebrates. The real danger is being helplessly encased in a block of ice, sinking ever closer towards the brine wing's jaws. Oh, uh, that'd be terrifying, right? To be frozen. Dude, imagine if there was something like that, but it was huge and it was actually a threat to us. Because that would be terrifying. Something that paralyzes you, it freezes you, and then it's swimming up to you like, yeah, I'm about to eat you. That would be very scary. But uh, I don't think the brine wing can really do much to us. Cool. Yo, we're getting caught up on the lore. That is so sick. We just met some new creatures. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, everyone. Yes, for our next step. Dang, I just saw lightning hit over there. 
for our next step, I want to load up on water. What? Unique identifier. Delta Station Dock. Yo, Frosty. I gotta Delta see what station. date is. Yeah. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Okay, Delta Station. So we know what that is. Okay. All right. Oh, we're getting some beacons. Oh, dude. Okay. I'm also getting brought back to the first game where, like, they don't tell you specifically where it is, so you have to find it yourself. I'm looking forward to redemption. I'm looking forward to actually <laughs> navigating the map and knowing where Southwest is, for example. Okay. I'm going up to see what's going on. I just feel like something's trying to sneak up on me. So Delta Station is over there. Well, we're going to be checking out Delta Station in the very near future. Heck, man, that's going to be sick. I'm going to get all this water. I just wanted to make a run back to where we started and grab those very valuable resources. Let's actually take a look here. What do we got? Something's new. So we have the repair tool. Oh, my arch nemesis, the repair tool. Yikes, right? Um, we've got some new stuff. Oh, if we get salt. Yeah, I never really did that in the first playthrough. Like, utilize salt at all, really, right? Uh, what else would we want here? Oh, a flashlight would be very nice. Dude, I say that might be worth doing, right? I might pin that recipe because I do have some glass. So we just need a copper ore. Let me take a look to see if we have any extra ribbon plants. And we do. We can actually make this right off the bat. Yeah. I actually grabbed some glass in the last episode. I'm so proud. So I'm going to make that. Yeah. And it'll be so perfect because it's about to be nighttime and it was dark. Very dark last time without a flashlight. This is a game changer. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go outside. Flashlight. Heck, we got something else here. Scaly maw, anemone, anemone, anemone. <laughs> Isn't this a thing from like Finding Nemo? Oh gosh. The scaly maw anemone prefers shallow water and ample exposure to sunlight and exists in a symbiotic relationship with the species of vibrant algae that live atop the anemone's trunk. These algae thrive in the sun and create a scaly bacterial mat around the structure of the anemone as they feed on other microorganisms that filter through the, one more time, anemone's water space. That Oxygen. is a tongue twister, man. And pel uh, pelted by this hail. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and drink a little bit of that H2O. I actually also wanted to see, we're on day five. We made it to day five, we haven't died yet. Let's drink a bit of this water. Heck, we might even just eat this right away. I haven't like littered at all yet too, right? We're so different. It's like, is this even us, right? Okay, so I'm acting like I know where I'm going. <laughs> Didn't we start somewhere around here? The crash landing site. It's gotta be somewhere around here. But we should also, yeah, kind of look at everything. Yeah, these are just like the outcrops. I'm just going to scan it, but I remember these from the first game. So like what's interesting is once you scan it, it actually tells you, hey, there's a chance to get some copper through this. So that's cool. I don't remember that in the other one. This is looking Grab some of that. I think there might be something going on over here, like a hidden entrance or something like that, right? You know what we need? We need that sea glide. I swear I'm hearing something, man. I. They also said they found, like, a frozen Leviathan. Is what our sister was telling us. Like, this is holding up the ice. Whoa, 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 dude. Oxygen. Oh, crap. 
The real danger is being helplessly encased in a block of ice, sinking ever closer towards the brine wing's jaws. Oh, that would be terrifying, right? To be frozen. That would be very scary. But uh, I don't think the brine wing can really do much to us. Whoa, 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 dude. Oxygen. Oh, crap. Are you serious? Dude, get me up. This is not good, man. Am I going to make it? Three seconds. Please, guys. We're not dying right away. Air bladder. Come on. Yes. What the heck? That thing hit us? I'm going up here. Stop. Stop. That thing actually hit us? Why did we manifest that? No, we're way bigger than that thing. It shouldn't be able to do that. It shouldn't be able to do that. It was that thing, right? You almost cost me my deathless run. You jerk. That was actually terrifying. And like it hit us and we're frozen down here so far away from the surface. Did we manage to scan the thing? We didn't even manage to scan it. Okay, we got the frost version of it, cool. Well, I wanna get the heck out of here because that, that one creature is a bully, dude. I don't like it. What was it, the brine wing or whatever? Things like a dragon. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it feels good, everyone. It feels so good to be here playing this. This is so much fun. And I'm really digging these characters too. I'm like completely invested. Um, we're definitely finding our sister. Looking forward to hearing more about that relationship and more about Altera and like what the heck they're doing. This is it, yeah. This looks right to me. It's like freezing cold though. <laughs> it's so cold. This is the perfect winter game, right? Ah, uh, here we are. This is our friend. Keeps us warm. I don't think they can hurt us from uh, this distance. The thermal lily, everyone. Thank you, lily. Okay, so the thermal lily. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. During the day, it points its face toward the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, the thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss, and it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh arctic conditions. I mean, there's a whole science going on here with all this life and how they've managed to survive here, right? This is the frost anemone here. Anemone. This is the frost anemone here. The frost anemone. <laughs> the frost anemone grows on the underside of ice flows and icebergs. The anemones, it, are they like trolling us with how many times they want to throw the same word in a paragraph? Like, come on. It's such a tongue twister of a word. The anemones tendrils are covered in thin stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton that are broken down for nutrients. I wonder, did we swim up to that? These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Assessment, carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Now I'm curious, you have my attention. If we go up there with a knife, maybe that's what we gotta do. We've got the beacon here. It's so weird seeing like the default is orange for below zero. Cause like, I'm so used to seeing these as blue, but this is fine. I like it. I like a change. I like something a bit different. Okay, let's drink up a little bit of water. Dude, the blue scrub brush. So many things. Well, let me head back to Lily here. The blue scrub brush. The blue scrub brush is an unusual plant for this climate. Unlike other plants that manage to thrive in extreme cold, which typically grow close to the ground and lack leaves to prevent moisture loss, the blue scrub brush is tall with a fur-like leaf. 
<laughs> yeah, we got to get a good look at that. Within the hollow leaves are chambered pores, which capture and store the sun's heat. That's a cool looking one, right? It's like they've got to do so much to just survive out here. Heck, we've got to do so much to survive out here. So this is where we crash landed. I'm happy we came back here because there was a lot to scan. I wonder if we're actually going to be able to like break this. Wait one sec. <laughs> this won't work, right? <laughs> Imagine if I actually broke through. I can't ever remember. Is there a way to crouch in this game? Hmm. Okay, well we can't break through it looks like. This was where we crashed. Let's heat up real quick. And yeah, I'm like seeing a flare right here. Oh, wait, we used, we used it? I didn't want to use the thing. I was just picking it up, but okay. We have... Sweater approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, everyone, everyone get a move on. Grab everything, grab everything. We got to go home. Whoa, dangerous weather approaching. You mean dangerous weather here, Frosty. Thanks for the heads up. It's like happening right now. Unless it's going to get worse. It better not get worse, guys. Just looking all over the place. I'm probably going to still miss stuff. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is good. A ton of flares. Oh my gosh. Yo, send your energy. We are out here in the middle of a storm. I'm not dying because it's going to be uh, terrible conditions. Is this a cave? Yo, no, 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 no. Okay. Um... Seek shelter. Can I go in my life pod? Lily! Lily! Help me, help me, help me. Keep me warm. Thank you. I'm going back out there. Is there anything else in this? No. And you're sure this isn't anything? We've got another water. Okay, starting to settle down. Not, not too bad. <laughs> All things considered, that was, uh, that was a rush. Okay, so we have everything. There seems to be nothing else around. I don't think I missed anything, at least. So I'm feeling pretty good. Well, let's head back towards the water. Oh, there's actually like a branching path here, but no, no, no. This is, yeah, this is the right way. This is towards the water. So the flare never runs out. Now if I go back to it. Yeah, we're cool. We can put this all away. Let's go ahead and collect some of this. Oh, is this like a sea glide? You know it'd be nice. Yeah, we got the sea glide fragment, everyone. <laughs> We've got one. How many will it take? I'm going to guess two. Oh, okay, it takes three. So there's that one. I remember one kind of close to our base. Is this copper? What the heck, dude? There's a bunch of just copper here. Maybe was it the sea monkey? <laughs> Is this like what the sea monkey's stealing? I feel bad. I'm stealing its secret stash. That's so much copper. Sorry, sea monkey, or whoever. It, it could be the sea monkey, for all I know. It could be just something completely different. I'm just going out over here. Yo, we got the bullseye shroom. Nice. Let's head up. Oxygen. We're good. Thank you, Frosty. Beautiful sunset, everyone. Beautiful sunset, right? This game really is truly beautiful. And now we're heading into the night and we get to use our new flashlight, which is really great. We're getting even more copper. We're just going to be loaded up on resources, ready to build whatever the heck we want. Like it sounds like the one of those creatures is so crazy close, but I guess sound just travels. It goes really far. There's no music playing right now. Is there anybody up here? 
Oh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of scary, dude. Like, even out of the water, it's scary. The unknown just... Pick up snow? What? Dude, I just picked up some snow. <laughs> we have a snowball? Wait a second. <laughs> We've got a snowball, man. I kind of want to go nail that one penguin that rocked me. No, no, right? <laughs> Yeah. Approaching. Seek, shelter. Seek shelter. We're fine. Did the snowball? The snowball's fine. Altera supply cache nearby. What? Altera supply? Okay. Hey, it's actually really close. Let's get the flashlight out so we can see something. Oh man, dude. Yo, I don't know, man. It's okay. We got sea monkeys here. They wouldn't be leading us to danger. Hearing the... We gotta go under the ice? Hey, buddy. Are you, are you trying to steal my flashlight? Whoa, 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 dude. Dude, it took my flashlight. Some it of took... the wildlife down here is very grabby. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get that back. Hey. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Yo, Frosty, remaining. I gotta get my flashlight back. Let the record show, Robin, you had a much different reaction. <laughs> Robin's like, yeah, they took it, so what? Come on, Robin. This is our flashlight, and it's our first flashlight. It looks super beautiful down here. That was awesome. And, like, what better item than the flashlight to see that at nighttime? No, 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 you're not doing it again. Uh-uh, get out of here. I'm going down here. Wow. Dude, leave me alone. No, no, you, it's mine. It's mine. Oh, God. What the heck was that? No! The crash fish. They've got crash fish in this game. Are you kidding me, guys? And now I'm. It's it's zero to one against the crash fish. One, they blew me up. Two, jump scared. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen oh, remaining. Oh, replenish oxygen. Well, how do I do it though? Oh, just press the button. <laughs> Dude, if I was gonna die. No, man, no, we're not doing that again. Oh, I gotta see, what is this? What is this thing? Sea monkey nest. No, this is a real sea monkey nest here. I'm not stealing the egg, no. Oh. Warning, 30 seconds whoa, of whoa, oxygen whoa, whoa. remaining. Laser cutter. Okay, we got the laser cutter. We're fine, everyone, we're fine. We're going to make it. Was there anything else they had down here? Dude. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. This isn't good. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Air bladder to the rescue. Oxygen. Ow, my head. There's so much going on. I should throw the snowball at the sea monkey. No, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a snowball at the next crash fish I see. That's what I'm doing. So bring it on, crash fish. Bring it on. I'm going to throw a snowball. Got a snowball with their name on it. We need a sea glide, which we might be able to make one now. Cool. We have a sea glide, everyone. Ooh, it's way deeper out there. Let's just take a look. One sec. I'm seeing this. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Scan it. What does it take to make a sea glide? Um. To make a sea glide, we need we need some copper wire. We need another battery, which sea is like fluid intake. which is like the Robin plant. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so we need the Robin plant, and I think it was a copper ore. So let's see if we can find some of those, which I'm still not a hundred percent like. Oxygen. You know, sure with whatever. Like if I can recognize it always. Robin Plant. Where are ya? And the lubricant was, I think it's like the glowing part of the creep vine, isn't it? There's so much, dude. Like, is this a wallpaper or what? Look how beautiful this is. There's so much on screen. How's there all this creep vine, but not any of the uh, the one we need? I gotta double check that. Oh, here we go. 
There we are. We actually need two of those. Ah, do I eat that, man? Ow, oh, I ate it. I'm actually about to die from starvation because I ate that thing. Oh, that was stupid. That was really dumb. Come on. Well, not my proudest Vital moment. Signs stabilizing. You know what I noticed now that I'm looking at my health is that the uh, there's no med kit. We need to get some med kits as well. Okay, so we have that. The next thing we need are those robin plants. Oxygen. My gosh, dude. I already know. Keep an eye on your oxygen. You gotta keep an eye on it. I know everyone, but we haven't died. We're okay. Everything will be fine <laughs> until it isn't. Right? I need those robin plants. Thank you, Frosty, but for the uh, for the heads up always. Okay, robin plants, where are you? We were really far away from our our life pod. I don't know if we need a repair tool to, uh, here's a robin plant, to like fix our life pod. Dude, why do I keep calling it a robin plant? It's a ribbon plant. It's a ribbon plant, everyone. I keep calling it a robin plant. Oops. No, we need the ribbon plant. There we go, now that we scanned it. No wonder it didn't want to show up. Like, I was trying to manifest, uh, we gotta manifest the right thing for crying out loud. Okay. We're up. Do I do it, guys? Do I actually do it? Try to throw a snowball at one of, not the little ones, but, uh, this guy right here. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to. Ah, ribbon plant! On a random note, we're currently watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy over here. Have you seen those movies? And do you think they're awesome? We just finished the Fellowship of the Ring Extended Edition, and it was incredible. We're watching that, and we're watching John Wick. Going through the John Wick, all the movies. We're on John Wick 2 later tonight. I'm super pumped for that. Okay, so we have the ribbon plants now, and I'm pretty sure that's what we needed. I can really look at our blueprints and stuff, but let's just look at it in here. And I also wanted to check, like, what does it take for a med kit? We need fiber mesh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, like, pin one of those. So we do need this for the sea glide. I actually don't think we have enough. Because we need multiple batteries, I think, right? Maybe? Or is it just one? Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and make the, uh, we've got the copper ore we need to make, and then we can make one battery, and that's perfect. Okay, awesome. We now have the Sea Glide. Let's go. This is perfect. The Sea Glide is a personal <laughs> transportation device used for high-speed free diving. Heck Engage yeah. a built-in light and map. That's awesome. Yeah, we never used the map really in the first game, but it's good to know it's there. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got all of these. I would like a compass. A compass would be very nice. Um, I just feel I feel like I'm missing something, right? If I don't have it. So we can actually make another copper wire. So let's do that. And then we need what we need. Let me take a look in our inventory to see if we have any extra. No, I don't think we ended up doing it. You know what's too bad is I ate that one thing and that would have <laughs> that would have been all we needed. Uh, so we got a ton of titanium. We'll just put this away for now. Um, we've got a ton of copper, good to know. We have plenty of resources here. We got so many flares. I mean, bro, on what planet am I going to be using all these flares? I'm going to bring one with me to, like, maybe use it, because I think it would be fun. Um, okay. So, get rid of the sea glide. We don't need it. But what I do want is that. And we also need a repair tool, but I haven't seen any cave sulfur. i just kidding. I did see some. I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up, did I? I'm like, wait, where am I supposed to find cave sulfur again? Oh, no way. No way, guys. But I don't think, do we, is that how you make that? No, that's like something different, right? 
we, we have to take a look. I got to go vi pay a visit to our crash fish friend again and see what is in the plant there. Um, yeah, we need two samples. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Because, yeah, there's not, like, a, a thing in here to help us with our, with our health. So, let's go towards the creep vine. We were just right next to, like, a ton. Yo, let's test out the sea glide for crying out loud, right? Here we go. What should we get rid of? Uh, I guess I'm getting rid of the snowball. Here we go. <laughs> the sea glide. Oh, we're so fast. We are flying right now, everyone. <laughs> and then we have a flashlight. How sick is that? Okay. One and a two. Three and a four. I'm going to just go ahead and maybe make two of those. Um, maybe, or like at least have some in storage. Let's quickly go back. We're very close to death right now. And I really am determined not to die. I'm determined. Y'all can make another prediction. Will we die this episode? Okay, cool. Yeah, make a couple of those. That's perfect. All right. Make that. Oh, this is like such a fun gameplay loop, right? There's just so much. There's so much to do. We've got so much to, to craft. So much to discover. Let's go ahead and use one of those. And, uh, Seek yeah. and take. Let's drink some water. Ah, why did I... Now I'm trying to remember why I have all this stuff. Let's take a look. Do we want to build anything else right now? We're pretty close to the laser cutter. I think it would be nice to have a compass, but that's all right. Let's go on an adventure. I'm going to go ahead and leave behind all this stuff. So we go somewhat empty. Did they even heal us to full health? Where do we want to go first, everyone? The Delta Station or the emergency supply catch? So many decisions. I guess we discovered, like, the Delta Station was there first. So let's do that. I'm also going to double check this. We're on day six right now. <laughs> yeah, we have this. We have the sea monkey nest. Okay, going to read up on the sea monkey nest back in the life pod where it's a little bit more safe. Sea monkey nests are large bull-like structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. The sea monkeys use their wide flat tails to pack the materials and form the structure of the nest. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creatures, often drawn to metallic materials, which they gather to reinforce the sides of their nests. I would like to see a sea monkey try to take uh, one of the snowballs. Huh, I think that'd be pretty awesome, right? We might need to test that out later, even though it's not shiny. Oh yeah, yeah, the other thing was the message, right? About, about the Delta, the place where we're heading right now. You've got a couple of things to read there. I'm going to save that though for now. Um, dude, there's so much. Okay, I finally found it. So Lillian, they are the ones who mentioned the Delta Station. Lillian said, you may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. We can't miss this. Okay, I really wanted to like find that exact piece because it's been a couple days since I recorded the first episode. So much has happened. Okay, now we're officially uh, somewhat ready, I guess, dude. I'm just going to do some quick eating, guys. All right, now we're officially ready, dude. Let's do this. Oh gosh, why are we doing this at night? We're losing sunlight, everyone. <laughs> the sun is setting over here. We are heading towards Delta Station. Is it really that? Is it really this thing right here? I'm going to go underwater, man. It's like, I don't know what's... A part of me doesn't even want to be underwater because I don't want to see what the heck is down here. Oh, man, I'm not seeing much like I'm seeing something over here. Something like sparking. Oh, it's the unknown. That's the scariest part. It's way 
deeper here. Oh, yeah. It's much deeper. I'm gonna grab this oxygen. Oh, gosh, dude. Okay, we're fine. Oh, no, man. All right, it's just oxygen. Why do I feel like there's something just massive here? I'm going to shut off uh, the beacon for this one. Right, you know, I'm shutting off the life pod, too. Dude, no. No, no, no way. No way. This music right now. <laughs> wow. Is this the thing? Oh, there's a whole thing down here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. 30 seconds of oxygen. Was there another plant in here? We got a plant. We're fine. Oh, I'm seeing something. I am seeing something in the distance, guys. Yeah, yep, that's something. Is this what we've been hearing? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. We remaining. need to upgrade our oxygen tank because this thing is not very good. I'm saying on this side, away from that. Okay, let's head back up. You know what to do. Oh, okay. Well. Wow. Getting like chills, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Do this first. Climb the ladder. Wow, man. Let's use our flashlight. How's it going, friends? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, man. There's so much here. Okay, so what is this? Mineral detector fragment. This is something new. That's sick. Oh, we got a desk as well. Is it gonna break it down? I can't remember. We've got a desk Your now, blueprints. All oh, this sound, right, is so awesome. Hearing that, like the blueprint sound, so satisfying. Really liking this uh, the music as well. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm also keeping an eye on our freezing meter. Does the, um, does a flare save us in this situation or no? Like, is it warming us up? What? Where did it go? It's there. Okay, well, it's definitely not warming us up. <laughs> Let's get back to maybe scanning all this stuff. Dude, it's so crazy cold. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Sorry. What are we even in? It's like a shark cage or something. Yeah, seriously, this is like something out of like Shark Week. Oh man, oh no. Okay, just head back up. Pardon me, my friends, I'm joining you. Make room. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm with you, we're out here, we're trying to survive. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we make it? Ugh! We can do it if we believe. Okay, different approach. We could use the ladder, but I want to use my favorite item in the whole game. And that's how you do that. <laughs> awesome, okay, so we have this. We have a nutrient block. Let's turn on the flashlight so we can actually see something. So we've got a nutrient, oh, we've got another flare, one for the one we lost. And that's the only thing here? This is even the right spot. This isn't even. This isn't even Delta Station Dock, guys. We're not even there. I know I've been watching the sunsets, but I actually think this might be our first sunrise. On planet 4546B, in below zero. That is so awesome. I just wanted to give a massive thank you again to everyone who's been supporting this series for all the love and the comments and to the Subnautica community. Everyone has been so chill. There have been no spoilers or anything as well. Y'all are the absolute best. And yeah, I just really appreciate you. So thank you. It's incredible to be seeing a sunrise while it's snowing. That is so incredible, right? I've never 
experienced that in my life before, I'll tell you that. I'm going back in, we're fine. Like, what's going to happen first? Are we going to die from a lack of oxygen, or are we going to die because we froze to death? Which one do you think is going to happen first? I'm heading all the way down. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, the beacon, yeah, the beacons come in clutch. Beacons are really good. Helped me a ton to line up the Reaper and Ghost Leviathan. Okay, I I'm just gonna take one of these, man. The ribbon plants are, I guess I'll scan it because why not? Why does it sound like it's right here? Oh, remember what curiosity. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen I, remaining. I desperately need to upgrade my oxygen tank because this is nothing. How much time do we actually get? Oh, uh, this is cool. I'm going to take one of these. This is the table coral. I remember this coming in handy. I can't remember exactly for what. I just remember always not having it. Warning. How are we already? Let me grab this really fast. Go! Go! I want to grab all of them. Okay, grab it. Okay, ready? We're getting our oxygen back, everyone. Yeah, we get 70... We get like 70 seconds. Okay, did we find everything down there? I don't even think so. That's really cool though, like, I love seeing, like, with the Degassi survivors and all that stuff as well from the first game, just seeing all these stuff that, all this stuff that was right on the planet before we got here. Whoa, what are they, what do they want us to scan? This thing? Oh, shelf coral. That's a new one. Tempted, very tempted, really quick. Okay, a type of stony coral commonly found on growing, Warning. found growing along rocky remaining. ledges. Stony corals have hardened biocomposite exoskeletons. The corals, oh, there's too much. There's too much. Can I, can I use my knife on it though? No. Okay. Oxygen. Whoa! I can't believe it. There's no way the first Subnautica let you jump like that. There's no way. Okay. The corals polyps continuously grow. They continuously grow upward and outwards in thin layers, creating the grooved shelf appearance. That's incredible that like they're all jumping out too. This is so this is a very tough like surviving condition place, right? It's really tough. Just wanted to help this peeper out here. I got gotcha. you. Um, I gotta make sure I don't eat it by accident. Drop. There you go. You're free. You're back in the water. Unless you wanted to be on land. Alright. We may have found everything there. It can't be that bad here if the penguins are right next to us. It's right there. That thing is right there. Do I dare? Do I dare? Do I dare do it? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Send your energy, everyone, please. Where did it go? Oh, there's actually... No, that's a creep vine. There it is. Okay. It's just one of them, right? Nope, there are two of them. They could be friends. Maybe they're not evil. I don't know if that's the thing that's been roaring like crazy. I do have my air bladder. Oh, dude. Dude, no, we're fine, we're fine. It sounds like it's like right next to me. Okay, okay, where did it go? Here, here we go. It might be friendly even though it looks like it's not. It looks scary. Nope, definitely looks scary. <laughs> it's a unknown. Oh God, bro. We're fine. What the heck is that? Unknown, unknown, no, no, no. No, take it, go, go. What is happening? Frosty, talk to me. Talk to me, I'm trying. like a distress call. I'm trying to scan two of these. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. 200 meters? Is it this one? Delta station? That was sick. I didn't even really get a good look at them. 
There were two of them. Is that kind of, it was, uh, what was it called? A brute, brute shark or something? It, it's kind of like a bone shark, right? I want to go back. I just want to look at the thing. Just wanted to look. Yeah, there are a bunch of them here. That looks so awesome. Wow. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. Uh, yeah, I just love. I did. I love Subnautica so much, and I love the creatures. And what is this? Oh, you almost got me! Come on, be chill, dude. Be chill. Let me see what the what this is. Kind of like a. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen okay. remaining. The Arctic Ray. Oh, the gel ray. I love so much. The Arctic Ray. I gotta see that one. The gel ray, yeah, do I honestly completely like forgot about the gel rays? Those are one of my favorites. I kept calling them what the jelly rays or something. <laughs> I love the gel rays so much. I want to see the Arctic ray again, but I hope the Arctic rays are in a in a safer spot than being surrounded by these sharks. Where did it go? Where are you, my friend? Ray, do you copy? Talk to me. Yeah, I, it disappeared. Don't tell me the thing killed it, guys. Well, well, maybe we'll see one later. It was, there was so much going on. I almost want to replay. We'll replay that one message. Cause there was like a distress beacon. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. He scanned this really fast. Hydrothermal spire. On on a random note, slay this fire. One of my favorite games, love it. It's crazy addicting. <laughs> That's just so beautiful, man. Look how incredible this is. I love it. I love exploring so much and I turn off What was that? Was just that? That was just the geyser, right? Oh man, I'm getting like chills right now just looking down. Dude, I would not be here in a million years. I would never be there. No. Mm -mm. No, I love it. I love experiencing this in the game. But I would not be there. And I don't even know if I would ever go scuba, scuba diving. <laughs> Let me know if you've been scuba diving before. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh god, dude. No, 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 man, please. What the heck? That's gotta be some kind of Leviathan or something. There are two of them just swimming around. Heck no. Heck no, 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 no. That's where the... That's where we gotta go as well. I'm, I'm taking the long way home, man. I don't even remember what I was going to say. I don't even remember. I just want to get out of here. Maybe I wanted to, to hear that one beacon message again or something. You always got to appreciate the sound design. Man, would it be dumb, dude, if I try to go scan it already? <laughs> we're fine. We're okay. They don't know we're here right now. We're just studying. We're observing. We're scientists. That's what we do. Such an awesome design. Dude. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, dude, please, no. Please, no. I'm pressing all the buttons. Oh, I turned on the map. That was sick. There was a third one. What was it called? I might try. He's chilling right now. I'm going in. I don't even know, bro. Crypto? They look awesome. They look awesome, man. I wonder, I wonder if they're carnivores, like if they would eat us or would they just damage us? Like, there's not an instant kill animation. Um, that was wild. There's so much, man. There's so much. 
Oh, was I supposed to scan that one? Am I allowed to scan this? Oh, I guess we, were, we already saw this. There's so much going on under here as well. This music is awesome. Oxygen. We're going back up. We're fine. We made it. The Delta Station. Oh, there's the giant thing. This is incredible, everyone. <laughs> Heck yes. Heck yes. Let's go. <laughs> wow. This is so awesome. They have like a whole setup here. We got garbage. Yeah, because I use this all the time in the first game. Always. You know what we need? We need like a battery charger. That's what we need. I. It, it's sad to know I use the coffee vending machine more than I use the garbage in the first game, right? Like, what is this? It's all coming back to me though, like, I'm so pumped to make our first base. That's going to be so much fun. Grab that water. Oh, we're actually getting pretty low on all of this. Oh, we can actually get this as well. Sick. Just a million things right now. That is it right now. I'm pausing right here. Oh, the time, it goes by way too fast. I'm gonna get right to recording the next episode, but I hope you all had some fun today. Thank you so much for watching, for being on this below zero adventure with me. The secret code word for the comments is going to be, secret code word for the comments is Frosty in honor of our new PDA. Drop that in the comments. All the support means the world, everybody. Help the algorithm bless this playthrough. As always, a massive thanks to our channel members and patrons, and thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later. <laughs>